Hello boys and girls, I hope that you are having a fabulous day. For this project, we are going to be learning about portraits. A portrait is an artwork on a person. A self-portrait is creating an artwork of oneself. An artist that does an amazing job creating portraits is Elizabeth Vigie Lebrun. Now, she is actually an artist from France. She was born in 1755 and passed away in 1842. Now. She was actually one of the first superstars that was a female in creating portraits. She was so famous that she actually created artwork for royalty and presidents such as the Queen of France, Marie Antoinette. Now, what was really fascinating about Elizabeth was that during this time when you would paint a portrait, it was very prominent or very, I guess, classy if you never showed someone smiling. But she decided, you know what, I really want to show that person's personality by adding a smile and frown or emotions to their face, which was considered a no-no during that time. But once she decided to take that leap and do that, she became famous for her artwork. And as you see, she created realistic, which means it kind of looks like it was taken like a photograph, to create these royalty portraits. That's actually a picture right there. Now, for this project, we will be creating our own portraits, but there's gonna be a little twist to it. We are gonna be making self-portraits. Now remember, a self-portrait is a picture of oneself. So who should it look like? Should it look like me? No, the self-portrait should look like you. So when you are making a self-portrait, think about your hair color, your skin color, your eye color. If you have a longer nose, maybe a shorter face, you really want to make sure that it shows that that's your, who you are. So for our project, we will be creating ourselves as if we were royalty. Think about if you are wearing a cape, a fancy outfit, maybe a scepter, wearing a jewel crown. So have a lot of fun making these. After this post, there will be a really cool biography video of Elizabeth with optional questions to answer. After that, there will be a post on how to create this artwork. I have these videos just in case that you miss a live Zoom meeting. So that way, hey, if I miss a, a class, I could go straight to my Seesaw or Google Classroom and watch the video. Can't wait to see these artworks. Have a nice day.